Hey guys, welcome back to Stitchy Reese Pieces. I am Erica and I am back to show you all things stitchy that I've been working on. Um, I'm so glad to have you back or to have you here if you're new. Welcome. I am excited. My wrist is feeling a lot better, not fully better, but a lot better. So I've had um, a lot more stitching time again. Um, so I have a lot of things to share with you. I have finishes and I have new starts because that's just who I am. I love me some new starts. And I have a pile of whips here. Um, so we'll just jump right in before I show you the whips. I'll show you the last a couple new bags that I have listed um, up in the Etsy shop. So if you're in the market for a new project bag, my link for my Etsy shop is in the description below. But I just like to come on here and show you the new prints real fast so you can have a, a quick chance to snag them before they're gone. So I have this sewing one. This is my deluxe type bag. Um, if you haven't seen before, it's got a regular bag top and then it also has another like half pocket here. Um, so this is the deluxe bag and it's got this cute like stitchy print on it and it's um, like a faux leather. So these have been super popular so I have this new print. Actually, I've redid this. I've sold it before, so I've made another one. So there's that print. And then these two are new prints. These are the extra large or the, I don't know if they're marked extra large or large. These are the large bags. These are the ones I use for my full coverage where there's just a ton of stuff for it. And um, I also use it for like my dimensions kits because they fit really well in here. These are like 14 by 14 or something. Um, so these are really, I, I love these. I use these the most. But these are the large bags. So I have this new floral print and then this one which is pretty fun this like castle one I have a feeling this won't last too long and it's got this cool rainbow zipper so that's really fun and they're pretty like I mean it'll it'll bend a little but they're pretty sturdy it's got um, in, interfaced and then of course you know it's got the clear vinyl front and the lining so if you're in the market for a project bag those are up in my shop so let's move into my whips. I think I'm going to save my finishes and my new starts for the end because that's fun. So uh, on to whips. I've really been in a springy mood even though a lot of my patterns are winter or Christmassy themed. I do stitch those a lot throughout the year but I've really been in a spring theme, spring mood. So I've, I've done quite a bit of spring stuff. So this is by White House Stitchery. It's called Spring is in the Air. It's kind of hard to see it because it's very like muted colors um but it said it says spring is in the air um and I just like the like pastel colors and let's see I have this board but it's huge so I'm gonna try to hold it up just because just I never have anything to hold up behind these light ones but let me see if I can wrangle it all okay there we go so that is that. Uh, this last few weeks, ooh, I have worked on this flower, and then I went into these bunnies. Sorry, it's wrinkly. I'm not going to iron things until they're done, which I did iron my finishes for you, though. But, um, yeah, so super cute. This is some kind of, I think it's linen. I can't remember what color it was, but it's like this very light kind of minty green, so I really like the color of that has a nice little spring vibe to it. Um, I have a hard time getting into this one. I think, I don't know, the flowers, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the flowers maybe, but now that I'm over to the bunnies, that was kind of fun. I, I have a hard time because I just, I get bored. So, but once I pick something up, I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to get up and get something else. And so, sorry, allergies are major right now. Um, anyways, when I pick something up, then I, I'm just like, yeah, I'll keep going, and then I find that I like it. So if I just would pick it up, instead of being like, man, I don't want to work on that one, then I would get a lot farther on these. But anyways, that one's fun. It's cute. It's coming along. I probably will have that as a one that I want to finish either this year or next year. Probably next year because I have, I've laid out the ones I want to finish this year, although I'm doing really well on my finishes so far, so maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, the next one, I caught up and then I got behind again. 
after my wrist injury or whatever is going on with it. Um, this was my temperature chart by Jar Jardin Preve, I believe. It's a freebie on her website. And it looks like that. And we're through January and February, so the top row of flowers is now filled out. And I'm over in here. Um, so I got behind on the weather days because I was doing it like every day or two. And my wrist got hurt and I didn't want to spend my few precious moments using my wrist doing this one. I wanted to do like one that I really wanted to work on. Anyway, so I got caught back up, but now I'm behind again. So I probably have like a whole flower to fill in, but it's cute. I really um, actually like how it's coming along. I wanted to get, so I need to, I did, I did the flower, the last couple flowers, and then, um, started the stem so I need to continue on over here and get the stems ready for the for the coming months um, and I was hoping to get another motif because there's like a motif scattered throughout the image I was hoping to get to one of the other motifs but I don't want to like miscount and so I'm just I don't want to jump ahead you know down down somewhere where I'm away from a flower because I want to make sure I do it right so I wanted to fill in the motifs but I think I'm just gonna have to wait till I get there but that one's pretty cute and coming along. I'm excited for the warmer colors, a lot more pinky type colors that I chose to use. So it's, it's kind of fun seeing how that one works out. So there's that one I worked on, but I need to work on again. Um, this one, a lot of, like half of these I've just put a tiny bit of work into, and then the other half I've spent most of my time on them. So uh, this is another one that I only put a little teeny bit of work on. It's the one that I got off Etsy that I later found out wasn't really Old Dimensions kit. Um, it is just super cute. So I had started in the top and I'm working on, I believe that's Joseph. Yeah, so I'm working on that and I only put a strand or two into there. I'm struggling with this one with the fabric and I thought about switching. But then I don't want to go buy more fabric. <coughs> so I'm battling with myself. I'm starting to realize I kind of like 14 count, especially with my wrist that's hurting, just because it's so easy for me to, like, get the needle in and out. It's not as thick. So, I don't know. I keep battling on if I should do that, because I think this one's 16 count. I think it's 16 count, and I keep saying, well, maybe I should just switch to 14 count, and it'll be easier, but I don't know. I don't. I just want to use what I have, which is this fabric half, so we'll see. But I got a little further on him. I just think that's so cute. I really wanted, I wanted to get it done this year so that by Christmas time my boys could use it because it's an advent calendar, but I don't think that's going to happen. There's a lot more stitching than you realize. <laughs> Anyways, um, next one. This one is a soda stitch. I'm getting to the point where I really need to start back stitching because I have a lot of the stitching done and I have a ton of back stitching I'm going to have to do. There's still some chunks of stitching that need done, um, but this is winter window. I still have, this is a lot of stitches in this curtain. Um, and I think, yeah, this white part down here. So there's still, and I have a little over here. I have the majority done, but there's still some big chunks of stitching. Luckily they're block color, so it shouldn't take too long. But this is so backstitch heavy, so I really need to focus on that. I have chosen to use um, like a sparkly opalescent Ada, and so I'm not going to stitch all the white. This is all stitched, this snow in the window, and I'm just going to let the sparkly Ada shine through there. So I'm not going to stitch that, but I still have quite a bit down here. But I have this main section done, and I need to backstitch more now. So let's see. I just love their pattern. Sorry, again, it's wrinkly. I just love their patterns. I love their bright colors. I think my lights, whoa, my lights extra like funky shadowy today. Um, so yeah, so I've done that and even that took quite a while and I still have to go all the way down here with that curtain. And I've done some back stitching and it really just makes it pop so much. I think it's going to pop really, really nicely when I finish that, um, Back stitching up in there but yeah this is on 14 count and it's so much it's just so fast so I think I like 20 count easy grid for my full coverage and I'm really liking just a 14 or 28 count 
I know that's not everybody's favorite, but it's so much faster and smoother and just, I, I don't know, I just like the feel of it. So maybe I'll start moving more towards that direction. We'll see. I have a bunch of fabric that I'm kind of just using what I have right now, but um, let's see. Next one that I worked on a little bit, not a lot, but a little. This is a fall pattern. Where is it? Where's my cover photo? Hmm, there it is. Okay, this is by, um, this is called Autumn House by Cute Patterns by Maria. This was one of the very first ones I bought when I was looking for a small, easy pattern. This is not a small, easy pattern, but I love it so much. I had no idea really about backstitch when I started, and I didn't know that this thing is like fully backstitched. I mean, there's backstitching up here and all the details in the house and the fencing. I mean, there's, there's a lot of backstitch, so I didn't know about that when I bought the pattern. I just love the pattern. But it's coming along, and I really like it. I worked on it a little bit, and then I... Um, ah, everything's so wrinkly and this lighting is kind of hard. Okay, so I worked on adding some more stitches into the house and then I also started the back stitching because I thought I've got to get some of this back stitch started or we're going to be here for years just back stitching. So I worked over here um, on the back stitching. And this is just on like some, I think, Fiddler's Cloth from Michael's or something. Like I said, it was one of the first ones I got and I just wanted to get started on it. But it's going to pop and be so pretty. I had this one for quite a while. It's, like I said, it's one of the first ones I bought. So I should, I need to finish it. It's an old whip. I want to finish it because I think it's just going to be so pretty. I want it done, but that one's kind of fun to work on. And it's, it's quite a bit of blocky colors um, compared to a lot of my other ones, and so really it's not too hard. Um, there's a lot of backstitching. Okay, let's see here. This one, it was one that I got over Thanksgiving time, so it's still relatively new. And I worked on it just a little bit. It's called Hiding Place by the Cross Stitch Studio. This is an Abraham Hunter. If you've been here before, you know I love Abraham Hunter's paintings. So I just, I don't normally go for like reddy, reddish and brownish things, but I just love the colors in this with the blues and the purples. So that one's really pretty. And that one's still on my hoop and my stand and everything. So you're just going to see it as it is because it's gigantic. So this is a crop, but when they crop, they have so much detail. I mean, this crop is... 517 by 517 is huge uh it's huge but anyways i started in the middle i'm kind of like in the window i believe one of these windows of the cabin there so yeah that's gonna that's gonna be a a whip for a long time but the colors are beautiful. Here's here's an example of the, one of those large bags. So it, this thing has a ton of colors, and that big hoop can fit in there. And this is how I store. Whoa! Looks like a big mess, but they're all they're all on these cards. But anyways, um, and this is CXC thread for these big ones that I do. But anyways, there's a, there's a lot of thread and a lot, a lot of pretty colors in that one. So that one's kind of fun. And that was, so let's see, put that one over here. Another one that I've worked on a bit, not a ton, because I'm finding that for full coverage and um, dimensions kits, I like to use a hoop because then I can go one hand, one hand. And because this, it's not like blocked colors where it's easy to do the sewing method. So when if there's blocked colors, I like to do the sewing method, and that's a lot easier on my wrist than this, like, going behind, um, and I think that's what's hurting my wrist. So I'm really struggling, because I really want to work on these dimensions kits. I, like, have this itch for dimensions kits right now, but I find them hard to do the sewing method on, because the colors are more scattered, and I don't know. They're just, I'm, I'm normally faster doing two-handed. So I was working on this one, and it was causing my wrist to hurt and so I had to stop even though I really wanted 
to keep going on it. Um, so it's still on the scroll frame because I feel like that's the fastest way. But um, this one's called Summer Cottage. And it's the dimensions. I've, I started in the middle and I worked over here and I've gotten almost that whole cottage. And I think there's like a fencing or, or vegetables. I think it's veg made vegetables growing right there. So that's where I am on there. So I went and I somebody had mentioned in another video that there was a double sided needle. So the needle gets threaded in the middle and then there's a, a point on each end. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to try that because maybe that'll be easier because then you just kind of go in, out, and you don't have to like turn. Well, the only ones I could find were, I can't remember the name, like, JM or J something brand. They had them on Amazon and they had them on Joann's. And I was like, well, I'm just going to buy one of each size. So I bought a pack of each size. The small one, hardly used it and it snapped already. These are like very flimsy. This one's a little better because it's a, it's a one of the bigger needles. Um, it didn't seem to help my wrist as much as I hoped it would. And it was flimsy, which is a bummer. So if anybody knows of, like, a really good, like, sturdy brand of, of double-ended needles, let me know. Because I might try a different one. Because it did help, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, amazing help, but it did help. Um, so I did work on that a little bit with this. And then I tried it with just a regular needle, and I found, if I just have a couple strands, if I'm not doing, like, dimensions, you know, sometimes they say, like, four to six strands or whatever. If I'm just doing a couple, I actually could do it with a regular needle and just put the blunt end back up. Um, so I did that a little bit too. But anyways, if you've never heard of double needle, it is kind of nice to just, if you have a stand, because you can just go up, down, up, down. So thanks to whoever um, let me know about that. But this one is fun, and I really want to keep working on it. So one way or another, I'm probably going to just keep working on it, whether my wrist likes it or not. Uh, let's see. And put this pattern piece back on here because I don't really want to lose it in the midst of all this. I always find needles on my floor after filming and I don't want my dog or my kids stepping on it. Okay, this one, this one is the one that last month I really was working on and it, my wrist started hurting because I was doing the in the frame and but I did work on it a little bit more because I didn't want to put it down either because it's such a pretty spring one. But I didn't get a lot further because I just decided I needed to find something I could do the sewing method on for my wrist. But I did get a little bit further on this. This is a pattern off of Etsy. Called, I don't remember where it's from. I just stumbled across it on Etsy. It's called... I don't even know what it's called. It was like Sp Spring Lake or something. I don't remember. But it was beautiful. And I had to have it. So this is on my normal... 20 count, 20 count easy grid. Started in the middle last month and I just went to town on it. And then I've just kind of filled in a little bit here and there this the last few weeks. And then I had to put it aside because my wrist. So that one is fun. It's a good spring one. I want to keep pulling that out. Oh, too many patterns. And then you know me. I start new patterns and I just want to stitch everything. And then I get bored with stitching on it. So then I bake a new one. And then that's fun, and then I go back to an old one, and then I make a new one. <laughs> so, those are all my whips. I now have two finishes to show you, and two new starts. So, what should we do first? Should we do, we'll do the finishes first. So, I am proud of myself. I've done whip go, and so far for the last three months, I have made it, even with my injury, um, for February, at the very end of February. I think it was like right after I filmed my last video. I finished my whip go board call, which was a finish. So I've had a finish for January, February, and March that were called. Which is probably good because later, as we get further into spring and summer, I'm going to be busy out gardening and harvesting. and So I won't probably be able to finish as much. So I'm glad to have three finishes done already this year. So this was my second finish of the year. And I love it. This is Little Dove studio or little dove designs um what was it called adjust your sales i think it's called adjust your sales 
And I love the little sentiment, life isn't about waiting for the winds to change, it's about learning to adjust your sails. And I love the colors. And we're actually heading to the beach here in a few days, and so I'm excited to uh, be done with this one. I am working on the, I haven't worked on it, it's not a whip right now, but what is the new, like, Beach the Boardwalk series by Little House or Little Cottage, no. I don't know. One of those, like, really popular brands. They have that Beach Boardwalk series, so I think when I go camping to the beach here in a couple days, I'm going to be working on that beach one. But this ocean one is done, and I think it's beautiful. And I'm glad to be done with that one. So that one is a finish. And that was a fairly large size finish, so I was happy it wasn't like a teeny little finish. And this one is my second finish. This is Primrose Cottage Stitches. Can't remember the name of this one. Uh, patriotic something. Oh, there it is. Let me grab it and see what it's called. Star Spangled Street, it's called. I really like how that turned out. I think it's so cute. This, I believe, had uh, it has a lot of, like, almost all fancy flosses. And I did probably, like, 70% of those. But a few of them I couldn't find, so I subbed the DMC. Um, and I just think that that turned out really cute. I don't know how I'll finish it, but... Um, it was so cute this one was easy to do in this last time where I needed to do the sewing method because you can see there's you know such blocked colors that I can just easily do that so this was that's why I spent quite a bit of time just kind of finishing this one up because it was easy on my wrist so I'm excited I have two finishes and they were like decent size projects and I've finished three this year so I'm feeling good so, if I have a finish, I have to have a new start, right? So, I have two finishes over there, and now I have two new starts. <clears throat> so, this one is very common and popular, and it's nothing, like, special. But I've seen it, and I've seen it, and I've seen it, and I always want, to, I always want it, and I've almost bought it multiple times on Amazon. But then I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't want to spend the money, um... So Mercari was having a deal where they had like, they would, they had $10 coupon, so $10 off $10 or more. So I found this kit for $11. So I got it for $10 off. So I got it for a dollar plus the shipping. So for, you know, less than $10, I got this feasting frenzy kit from Dimensions. And it was like, it was new condition, but, you know, the packaging was a little roughed up. It was still new, so I'm super excited. That was an amazing deal. I've been waiting and looking and waiting and looking, and finally I was like, all right, that's a good deal. I'll get it. I just love all the different birds. Um, so that's fun. I just barely started it. I only got it <clears throat> two days ago I got it in the mail. So I've started in the middle. Um, oh, I thought this was a little cardinal I was working on, but it's not, because his head was red when I was working on it. Okay, so I just started in the middle, and I've just, I mean, I've barely gotten started, but I did get started on those two little birdies, and yeah, I think that's going to be fun. I'm just using all the kit stuff. <clears throat> Again, though, this is, what is this? This is 18 count, so even the sewing method on here is hard on my wrist, because it's just, there's more tension, or like... Yeah, from the smaller holes. So it does hurt my wrist a little bit. So that's not my favorite thing. However, I've, that's just kind of how I worked on here was without a hoop. Just trying to just trying to do as much as I could. So that one is fun. I'm excited to finally have it and have gotten started on it. Because I just think it's pretty and colorful. So that was one new start. The other new start... Um, just came across my eyes and said, you must have me. And I wasn't really looking. I was just scrolling through. Because you shouldn't scroll through, you know, Etsy or eBay or 123Stitch or 
this is dangerous, you know? So I just, I think I opened it up because I sell on Etsy. I have like three different shops selling different things on Etsy. And I think I had gone into my account for, to work on an order actually. And this sh showed up and I was like, oh, what is that? <coughs> they were having a sale. If you buy three, you got like half off. I almost bought three, but I restrained myself. Um, but this is by X Stitch Pattern X on Etsy. And as far as I know, it's like a legit pattern, just her pattern. I mean, didn't see it anywhere else, so, but it's just too cute, especially for the season. Are you ready? This is called Easter Bunny with Eggs. I just love those pale muted colors. Oh, I just think he's so cute. I think it's so cute. It's so cute. And I went back and forth. There was like three of them. There was one in a there's one in a basket. She had an Easter bunny in a basket and she had an Easter bunny in a little teacup. So cute. And I almost bought all three of them and I was like, oh put a three of them together. I'm never gonna finish all these things. I was like, no, no, no. Just do the first one you originally really wanted. <clears throat> and so that's what I did. But if you haven't seen X Stitch Patterns X, she's got really cute patterns. Especially if you want a little Easter bunny. She's got, they're all, there's multiple in this like muted color, colorway. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I got that and I, that's only been like two days. So I just barely started on it. I'm still trying to gather, oh, I have a third new start I found in this bag. Okay, I have another new start to share with you, but back to this one <clears throat> I was trying to like gather up thread and hoping to have all the colors instead of having to buy it so I found most of the colors but I still have to buy a few but I was like okay I'm gonna get started just what with what I've got and hope it works so let's see I started in the middle and this is on a linen from Hobby Lobby I believe let's see I started in the middle, and it's just, you can't really tell what we're looking at here, but it's just the bunny's head, and here's his eye. Um, so I think I'm kind of like, got his cheek and eye right there. So this is 28 count. It's a nice, like, kind of creamish linen, and I think it's going to look really cute. So, I got started on that one. And I'm excited to work on this one some more today. This is the one I'm going to work on today when I have more time. So those were the two new starts that I was going to show you, and I just forgot that I have a third new start in this bag. Um, it's a, just a little one, so bonus! <laughs> uh, this is a free pattern, and I, th I found this, I think, before I found the rabbit, or when I was trying to convince myself that I didn't need the rabbit. I was like, just you one of the free patterns you have. So I might have done that, and then be like, nope, I still need the rabbit. <laughs> I can't remember. But um, this is by Crochetta Gogo, I think is how you pronounce it. And it was a free pattern in 2021. So you can find it on her website. But it's just like this chicken and chicks and flowers, okay, in like an egg shape. So I used up a piece of fabric I had. I don't exactly know what it is. I think it's like 32 count something. And it's like a tealy color. Ooh, that's not showing up super well with this lighting. A little like bluer on the screen than it is it's kind of more of a teal color but um oh well anyways I did the outline of the egg and I got that chick down there and it's kind of fun I normally don't like stitching white because it's so hard to see but on this dark color what right you know the white pops out however it's hard to see the dark color because I stitch at night when my kids are asleep but um it's working well so that one's a fun little cute freebie. So that's just a small start. Um, I hardly call that a new start. It's just a small freebie pattern. But anyways, those are all the things I've been working on. Two finishes, three new starts, and a lot of whips. I also worked on my blankets, uh, my mosaic crochet blankets, but I don't have enough to show you any real progress yet. But I've been doing that also for my wrist because it's a little easier for me. But... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and I appreciate you sticking around. I don't know when I'll be back again. We're going to the beach for about a week um, just to get away because we have new chicks coming to our 
home here in the beginning of April <clears throat> and guinea hens to eat all the ticks outside. So we're going to be raising some new baby birds. So we had to get our trip taken this year. We go on usually like a week long or a few day long camping trip um, each year. And so we had to do that before we had new chicks and birds and animals to take care of and garden popping up. So I'm going to be doing that. I don't know when I'll be back again because it's just going to be kind of crazy spring and with the trip and everything. So I'll see you when I get back. But um, until then, happy stitching and thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.